Hello, Revolve Bible Church. Welcome to 5-Minute Connect. For the next five consecutive 5-Minute Devotions, I wanted to take the time to do a special mini-series, if you will, and title it Singing in the Storm. Oftentimes, we liken troubling times in our life to be like a storm. We use that as a metaphor to describe troubling times. Well, Paul here is going through a storm in his life as he's writing to the Ephesians being mistreated, imprisoned, under house arrest here. But we don't find him screaming in the storm of his life uh, out of frustration or out of panic or fear, but he's singing as he opens up verse three of chapter one, ascribing a beautiful eulogy to God, a, a word of praise and commendation to God over every spiritual blessing that has flowed from God into the life of Paul. What's interesting to note here in chapter one is that the blessings are just that, spiritual, pertaining to salvation, not physical, tangible blessings. That's not to say that physical, tangible blessings don't come from God. Every good and perfect gift comes from above. But Paul is... His mind is inundated with salvation as he goes from verses 3 through 14 to just rattle off facets of salvation. And for this devotion, I think it suffices to just camp in verse 3. As Paul says that every spiritual blessing God has blessed him with in the heavenly places in Christ. Paul is gripped by the reality that salvation and all the blessings that pertain to salvation has come to him in Jesus Christ. It it did not come to Paul because he is so great. He is so lovable and so worthy of being saved by God and being the recipient of salvation, but it's come to him because of Jesus Christ. That is to say Those who are not in Jesus Christ, those who don't believe in Jesus Christ, do not receive every spiritual blessing from God. They don't receive salvation from God. What they receive is cursing. They receive a judgment based upon their life. In fact, in the Old Testament, prophets who would speak on behalf of God would pronounce judgment on those who are disobedient before God, and they would pronounce blessing upon those who were obedient to God. Paul understands, as you should understand, that to not be in Christ is to be someone who is under the wrath and the condemnation of Almighty God. This is a terrifying position to be in, to be in the hands of an angry God and to be one who is not a recipient of the kindness of God, but quite the opposite, the terrifying wrath of God. But Christ has changed that all. For those who place their faith in Christ, Jesus on their behalf went to the cross to be the recipient in their place, in the place of the believer, to absorb the wrath of God taking on the curse that we rightly deserve, bearing it for himself, as Paul says in Galatians 3, and instead being a recipient of the righteousness of Christ, being in right standing with God because of the perfect life of Christ, having our sin and curse dealt with because of the death of Christ, and being someone who receives nothing but blessing from God. And so what a encouraging time to meditate on Ephesians chapter one, verse three, in Christ, you are not cursed. You are not under the condemnation and the wrath of God, but you are blessed by God. Would this cause us to look upward to remind ourselves all that we have in Christ. And may that cause us to sing in this storm like Paul to God. Blessings.